the other night on stream, we watched one of our friend channels, Rip and Ship by Moonshot, open up two collector booster boxes of Wilds of Eldraine. We wanted to get a sense for how the set feels, what it looks like to be opened here right as it's about to release. And normally, right at this point, I say, hey, subscribe to our channel. But what I want you to do is go to the description, look for the link to Rip and Ship, go to the pinned comment, look for the link to Rip and Ship by Moonshot, their YouTube channel. I want you to go to subscribe to them. Really, really great opening channel over there. You can buy packs during their stream and have them open there earlier than the set comes out. They ship at the right time, but you can see some cards get open and have them before the set even comes out. Give me just a second to thank our patrons, and when we get back, we'll watch two boxes get opened and give our initial reactions and see what chat thinks as well. Highest level of gratitude to our patrons who power the channel through Patreon. Check out the Patreon link in the description to learn about monthly giveaways, VIP Discord access, and even our official playmat. We've got one box that he described as representative of the set. And look, I trust Lance's like feeling on a set more than anybody. This dude opens up more MTG product than anybody I know. Bar none. Bar yeah. none. So yes. he said he described one of the videos as representative of the set, and he decided he described one of the videos as a banger. So want to set the tone here. Want to give a little context to the set. We're opening up two Wild of Eldraine collector booster boxes. Most expensive cards in the set right here in front of you, chat. Sorted price high to low singles. Obviously, Jake, what is what are we seeing here at first? The set within the set yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh this is what i like about this product i i like that there's no serialized cards and i do like the um the japanese planeswalkers or not planeswalkers but cards with you know kind of like anime art so i would say that's the big big appeal here there's going to be some that are highly desirable and there's going to be some that aren't i'm excited to see how many of those appear in the packs because that's what i'm the most excited about is the the set that's within the set the which is kind of like the big that's the big push within a lot of these collector boosters right just out of curiosity i wanted to see what were the first cards that we saw that are in the main set that are not the set within the set there's only two on page one so after this, we're at like $30 and less on as far as cards go, but extended Moonshaker and extended Beseech. So look for those yeah. tonight. Obviously, anything anime borderless, we're like, ping, thank you for the anime borderless. But here we go. Beseech the mirror in its, in its base copy. That price isn't going to hold. Wow. Sell this fast if you pull one, chat. Agatha Soul Cauldron samesies extended so those are the ones and then you see more of the anime borderless you see moonshaker again you see the corvold new card that wasn't available anywhere except for set and collector boosters i believe so that is basically like what we're looking at as far as hits go so i knew that soul cauldron was going to be something i knew it <laughs> you knew it i did i i didn't understand the card but i knew i was looking at something good let's just say that Looking at the card explains the card in this case. We're going to see what we got. So this is the one that Lance said is representative. 2X is a little quick. Yeah, let's go 1.5 is yeah, fine. Yeah. Is representative of the set. This man already opens at the speed of sound because he has <laughs> he has so many packs to open on. Look at those fingers have shiku, muscles. Shiku, shiku. Each of his fingers has its has own a one, hand. One ab. There's one ab yeah. on each finger. Each finger has a set of abs, and each finger has its own fingers. Oh my That's god! That's what's crazy. Chat. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Lance. Look, I'm blocking your face, and I'm muting you. We love you. Go subscribe to Rip and Ship by Moonshot if you like to see cards opened in mass and you like to see and you want to purchase packs from Rip and Ship by Moonshot right there live. Early. That's another thing to say as well. Early. Early oh, yeah. is a big deal. Super All right, early. so these these packs are front loaded. That's what I've noticed yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. So all, all the, of the good is stuff up there. is at the front. So he's already hit some some interesting stuff right out of those first two. 
There's a polluted so, bronze foil. So like that right there, how often are we getting one of those? Oh, look at that, right? <laughs> that's a pretty good pack right there. Yeah, that's a pretty good pack. Um, Let me check this real fast. It looks like there's probably... God, look at that doubling season. It's the confetti foils. It's the that's confetti foils, for. right. But look at how look at the adjustment on confetti foil prices already. Uh and I would compare this to Oh man, what is the set that we just saw come out that had the foil oh surge foils from Lord of the Rings that came out that yeah, were yeah. all extremely expensive right out the gate. These are already going through adjustments. So keep that in mind. I'm not gonna sit here and crap all over this product, but I would say just, you know, if you're opening this for the sake of opening it and enjoying it, good. If you want to get the most bang for your buck, I'd say buy singles, you know? Yeah, obviously. So that was, okay, so we saw the polluted bonds, but it wasn't a confetti foil. It was just a foil of mm -hmm. the borderless card. So less than, less than 50 bucks. Not seeing polluted bonds on the front page. So yeah, it's less than 30 bucks for that one. Well, it's in foil, so it might be might be a little bit more. Beseech is a pretty good hit, though. Then you got Rankle Prankle. Confetti foils are one in three boxes. Okay. One in every three is a confetti foil? Yeah, he's saying one in every three boxes. All right, so we get rest oh, in God. peace. Yeah, and seeing sometimes you might open up a rest in peace. Luckily, this set is not like crazy overpriced. These are standard prices for collector booster packs. And so Which it's is around 200 a box right, right now. It's a really, really good place to uh, get these enchantments. In about three to six months, you're going to find some awesome prices on some of these awesome enchantments. Chad, I dropped I a link like to uh, Rip and Ship there in the chat. Go drop a sub on uh, Rip and Ship if you would. There are some really good... God, that's um, beautiful, though. Look at that card. Wow. Yeah, that and Aggravated Assault. So that slot Oof. has some really good... Like, there's about four rares per pack is what I'm seeing, which yeah. is pretty much run-of-the-mill. Got the Aggravated, then you've got the Storybook, you've got an Extended Art, and then you got your Foil. So five. Yeah. Extended Emma That's kind of like where we're at. That's why. That's why so much of the sets really just Tank. race to the bottom. Is Tanks, there's man. so many different. Yes, I'm telling you. Yeah, the anime omniscience is cool. Intruder alarm, gumdrop poison. So set rare in the set border. That's your uh, commander and then slot. The commander. Yep. Then another, and then your set rare and foil. Basic. Or base copy. I love that forest too, that full art forest. This is a shout out to Kirknall. What up, Kirknall? <laughs> a natural growth. There's a virtue in the. So, this is a set rare in the set border. No, sorry, set mythic. In the set border. Non foil. Commander card. Set foil rare. Got it. Now, there is some attractive stuff outside of those five because Spreading Seas got a reprint. We just saw Spreading Seas there. Ooh, look at that Waste Knot is so nice. Land Tax is a good 30. But we did, we actually just had a video that is going to come out tomorrow, which is a video that is our favorite commander cards from this set. And there are some really good cards that are uncommon as well. One of our favorite artifacts came out in this set. <laughs> yeah, it's a two drop. Dude two drop artifact <laughs> i tweeted that card and said is this low-key the best commander card in the set <laughs> it is it just really <laughs> is it's it's just it, it what is it it costs two you pay two to tap it and then collector's you get a treasure cash or something loot. like that yeah oh it's, wow it's, look at that Phyrexian on life art i know that I, we've already seen all the arts but it's different seeing them in these big muscly ab filled hands Phyrexian on life <laughs> <laughs> Phyrexian on life art in this set damn Harry Conway you didn't have to go that hard but you did it is the new bank buster specter it, the fact that you're netting treasure on it and you get to loot and there's your spreading oh. seas utopia 
Wait, let me see that real fast. We kind of fly past it here because the fingers are just doing work. Spreading seas, Utopia Sprawl. That's what I thought it was. So that's going to be... Yeah, that's a good that's, one too. Yeah, that's going to be one that is going to hold a strange amount of value. Like two or three bucks is all I'm talking, but it's not going to be cheap, cheap. Actually, how much is Utopia Sprawl right now? Is no one got up there? Or is it the other one? <laughs> uh... Utopia Sprawl. Oh, Utopia Sprawl is um, like a five dollar card. Yeah, dude. It's a modern. It's a modern card. Dissension yeah. Masters Twenty Five, Forgotten Realms Commander, Wilds of Eldraine Commander, Secret Lair. It's only ever printed in um, and enchanting let's tales. Say a set within a set yeah. or a premium set. Hey, shout out Kirknall, by the way. I said that. Yeah. Oh, I missed Kirk that. In this. I like that otter art. <laughs> Garrick's Uprising. I think people are going to want that version of Garrick's as well. This is not what we want to watch. So for me, like that box, you're getting a lot of staples. Yeah. I mean, there were a ton of a ton of good hits in there outside of just the set. So Wizards of the Coast is really, really finding their way. You know, one thing that we could do that would be a fun video that maybe we don't do on stream is like Eldrain revisited where it's like we talk about the first collector product that came out compared to where collector products are and oh, wizards yeah. of the coast has, has changed a lot of things at this point right. you know they <laughs> they know they really know what they want to do in the first l drain set i remember and i'm sure many of you do but those extended art foils like lance just went by there that very first card those extended art foils in the first l drain collector boxes there were only like two or three a box yeah. and they were all clumped together and whenever rudy would open one i remember watching rudy's openings and he opened one card from one and he was like it's a it's a it's like the big white enchantment for knights or something and i remember him freaking out going 300 dollar card because circle of loyalty time, circle of loyalty yeah at that time we only ever had the um the extended art box, box toppers. toppers from ultimate masters so we thought those cards were like a big deal now they're just you see they put extended art cards all over they're the everywhere. packs just everywhere extended as we have the set now. within a set we have serialized cards i mean the collector pack has evolved it's evolved in a big way oh that okay so Lance, how do you, what do you think of the confetti foils? Do they look good? That, I mean... Let's get Lance's reaction to this. Yeah, I Can like we, that. Yeah. Look at this. Don't need it, want. Like, yo, that's, that is super hot right there. Don't need say. it, want it. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> that's how I feel. They don't shimmer as much as I thought they would, but they do look pretty sweet. The question is, how much light do you have and how does it look in a sleeve? Have you put it in a sleeve, Rip and Ship? With the greater Aramancy behind Ooh, it. Wow. Fun, fun pack. Nice, Yeah, real nice pack. Extended Mythic. Utopia Sprawl and Foil. Not bad. Edward Davidson. Edward with 29 months. 29 Jeez. months, Ed. You rock, dude. You are seriously crazy. You've had our anthem for 29 months. Do you feel indestructible, vigilant, like you can fly, like you have first strike, and like you have haste? Let chat know. And chat, if you want our anthem, click that join button down below the video. Get y'all our emotes. We got extended Lord Skitter. Prismatic says, Omen. Anything not older reserve list is a risk. It is riskier than... Yeah, it is it is less risky than than newer stuff. Yes, I would agree. Got but it's ruin. more expensive. You're like It's like buying good stocks versus uh, the penny stocks. Now, I'm not saying that it, I mean, one thing to keep in mind with all this shit, it, the way that I feel about it is these specific versions are specific to the sets. I don't know where it's going to be in many years. Hard to tell. <laughs> Mateus said Ch confetti foils is such a dumb name. Look at that, by the way. I love this uh, band card. <laughs> um, Mateus said confetti foils is such a dumb name. Yeah, I have to agree with you, but I can't really. I've thought about like what would I have called it? 
Sparkle foils. Like I don't there, I don't have a good idea other than confetti yeah. foil. I've got maybe two they can start doing sets. stuff like calling it master foil. Or maybe they start calling it ultra foil or I want or, uh, Oh my god, the day foil. that they introduce hot foils. Oof. Hot foil. I just want to know what a hot foil is. They feel matte. What's the what, what's the tongue feel? I've got two full sets of Ley Line of Abundance in my closet. If anybody wants two full sets <laughs> of Ley Line of Abundance for their Pioneer deck before it got banned. Got the Grasp of Fate. Yeah, these look fun. These look like fun packs. I love I love the plane, man. I'm just such a huge fan of Eldrain. There's that card. Sneak Attack in the anime. Mm-hmm. The not having to chase Dragon a Mantle. serialized card is is cool here. I like that there's no serialized chase. I like that Wizards of the Coast has dealt that or or uh, reined that in Agreed. a little bit. You want those to be cool. Ooh, that looks so Foil, nice. Foil anime Bitter Blossom looks awesome. This is a good time to get the set of Bitter Blossoms if you've ever wanted to play with that card. In three months, it'll be a good time to get the set of Bitter Blossoms. Oh by yeah. The way longer he doesn't mean right <laughs> yeah like wait infinitely if you can <laughs> yeah um wait until the heat death of the sun and they will just continue to go down until then um <laughs> heat death of the sun spreading seas looks cool this is a good time to get a set of spreading seas if you don't have that card i really do think that this looks pretty sweet to open it's not God, I mean, I know what you're saying, Jake, with the I'm glad that there aren't any serialized Leyline of the Void Suite. I'm glad that there aren't any serialized. And look at that. Pulling the Mythic Planeswalker in foil from a set. God, how times have changed. I'm going to have my old man yells at Cloud that moment for a second. That used to be the shit, dude. dude that seriously. used to be the shit. <laughs> it's but still pulling, cool. It pulling looks Pulling the nice, Mythic but... Walker of the set. And... And I'm not throwing shade on Lance here, but just watch this. This is how we treat foil mythic walkers now. Okay, cool. Moving on. <laughs> yep, there it goes. Into the pile. Like, oh, yeah, look Into at that. <laughs> now, you do have to keep in mind, uh, Lance would need to open a solid gold card in order to be, like, really, really taken aback. He's opened sure. everything at this we point. We stopped on the Rhystic Study. I thought we stopped at the appropriate place. We stopped more Ooh, for the alternate the Ashiok. Ashiok box. Yeah. I mean, the box itself was mm -hmm. kick ass you did not you were not making stuff up when you said that it's a uh it was a bomb box yeah there is some good stuff there there is some good stuff in there that's obviously hit of the set i mean hit of the box it's the second best card in the set that is a 300 dollar, 328 dollar card currently that we're looking at and i mean look at the chart on this jake the hype chart it is the hype chart, but typically, chart. typically it's inverted, like Tom Cruise in yeah. Top Gun. Typically, well, this is inverted from the beginning. Well, wait for it. Yeah, we gotta wait for the set to come out too, because you need those copies out in the uh, in the wild. Yeah, for sure. But I, but yeah, this. I mean, the the product really does look fun. Um, I like that. There's, you know, this. It does kind of remind me a little bit of Japanese War of the Spark, where we're searching for the alternate art cards. So, that's kind of fun too. Let us know what y'all think about opening up Wilds of Eldrain. I know that it hasn't hit the streets yet, but once you get the opportunity to take it to the streets, let us know how how good of a time you're having cracking packs of this. Love a when set within a set, dude. Love a set within a set. I do too. I do too. You know, like the Strixhaven Mystical Archive. Um, that was something where I went out and I bought all those. I was like, Mystical I want to get out for every sweet. card from the Mystical Archive. Dude, and I prefer when it's something like this or something like Brothers War where it's playable. There's so many EDH playable. And I'm not saying really that good. Mystical Archive didn't have a ton of playable cards. Just no, yeah. artifacts and enchantments, especially in these special treatments, I'm more willing to pay a premium price for something that's going to sit on the battlefield than I am to play an instant that then goes to the graveyard. Unless I just really, really need to troll you. In which case, <laughs> I'll just play the hottest shit counter spell I've got. Sure. And then I'll be like, I actually, Jake, this counters the next spell too. So go ahead and pick which, which other spell you want countered. 
Yeah, I think that I mean, I think the product looks good. I like the I like the art. I think that it's it's got some really good hits in there. One thing that's difficult for me getting a product is I have most of these cards. Right. I don't have the I don't have these versions of them. No. But I do have a lot of the set within a set. I don't have anything from Eldraine yet, but when I don't I, for me, I know so many people, so many people. Hello, my son. So many Post -post. people love this art style, bro. Like there's mm -hmm. so many cards that are just popping in price because of this art style. But look, it's just not for me. I just don't like it. It is what it is. I don't like Genshin Impact. I'm not going to play Honkai Star Rail. I just don't get into anime for some reason. And so these don't speak to me outside of being cool. Like this one to me is less. I'm an anime card and more like I'm a really pretty version of Ristic Study. Mm -hmm. But this one here where they're just like, like I can hear the anime giggles. <laughs> I can hear the anime giggles in this card. I don't know where the tithe is here. <laughs> I don't even know what this art is about. That Suki Tatsuma yeah. was like, anime girls got it. 